My name is Melinda Mast and today I'm going to be talking to you about the different types of brain injury and some of the causes of brain injury. Brain injury can occur even if there is no loss of consciousness and that's something really important to remember. Also, there are three different types of brain injury. Brain injuries are usually classified in these three different types, mild, moderate, and severe. 75% of all brain injuries are mild. A lot of these are known as concussions. And really the symptoms of a, of a mild brain injury end up being that there's a brief loss of consciousness, although there could be no loss of consciousness. If there's no loss of consciousness, then a person may be dazed or they may have a vacant stare right after the injury. They would have a normal neurologic exam. So if you went to the physician or if you took your loved one to the physician and it showed nothing and they had an MRI or a CAT scan and it showed nothing, that doesn't necessarily mean that there's not been a mild brain injury. A person will have a delayed response to some commands or they may be disoriented or foggy in some of the things that they remember. They could have a headache, a lot of nausea and dizziness. They might, be, they might have slurred speech. But usually there are no other complications other than these warning signs. Often people with mild brain injury don't even go to the doctor. And that's one of the problems I think as we look at the scope of brain injury. If you think about the number of times that you've sort of had your bell rung, which is a common expression, um, and you don't do anything about it except you suffer through it for two or three days. Those things might need to be looked at. One of the causes of brain injury is what's called coup contra coup. And these make up moderate and severe brain injuries. And when coup contra coup occurs, and you might hear this expression from your doctor, it's really when the brain is rocked back and forth. And that rocking in the brain causes damage as it rocks back and forth. So if you think about going on one of the rides at a fair, or at Six Flags, and you think about the times that you're thrown back and forth like that, if it's severely, you could have some damage to your brain. Another term that physicians use is diffuse axonal brain injury. And this, unfortunately, is a devastating cause of brain injury because it means that the brain, the brain injury is occurring across all aspects of the brain, not just in one focal point. This really is the most common cause of severe and moderate brain injury, but it is also the most devastating because the whole brain is involved. Another cause of brain injury occurs right at the, at the neuron level, and if you think about these little neurons, um, they begin to, as the shaking or as the impact of whatever happens to your brain, they begin to split apart and they get diffused all over your brain. And again, this is a very devastating cause of brain injury. Severe brain injury is, it always results in a prolonged unconsciousness or coma-like state and lasts for days or weeks or even longer. That doesn't mean that there can't be a good outcome after a severe or a moderate brain injury, because there can. Thanks again. Bye.